right, so we're back working on our raised panel surround on our fireplace today, and we're going to knock this thing out, aren't we, honey? We are. 20 Very minutes? <laughs> well, let's not be silly, but it's going to go quickly. It will. Because we've already got everything cut, and we've got one panel dry assembled. Uh, we've got a sand down, uh, two more of the inner panels, so yes. I'll do that here shortly. But we wanted to go ahead and get everything lined up and get the one panel glued together. Let and that then dry. that way, yeah, we let that dry while we're finishing up the other one and then move to the other side. So let me show you where we're taking off here. So last time we got this panel assembled and glued and we've got it, uh, got the wires and stuff pulled through. And right now it's just kind of tacked in place. We've got some trim nails holding it up. This is the one we just uh, dry assembled. And as you can see, we've got it just kind of stuck in place there for now. That way I can go ahead and mark uh, each joint so we know exactly where we need to glue it once we get it down on the floor. So that's looking really fantastic in the bed. Mm -hmm. So we left this front panel loose. Uh, I've got, again, a couple of trim nails there, just not even sunk below the surface, so that we could get these two joined together perfectly you know, before we nail everything together. So we'll close up any gaps or anything like that in between these panels. And I'm actually gonna use trim screws, run through this face down into this next panel. And the trim screws are great because they won't loosen up over time. They'll stay nice and tight. So once we get a trim screw together, then we can come back and sand everything down. That way we've got a perfectly smooth corner all the way down through here. And it'll look fantastic and it'll stay that way. And then once we get everything assembled, we'll get uh, everything nailed in place, get it secure, and then we can come through one more time and get uh, everything sanded down, make sure all the joints and everything are perfectly smooth where we assembled everything. And then uh, on this back side, we're actually going to have a run of cabinets. And you can't see it now because we've got so much stuff stuck back here but uh, we'll have a run of cabinets so we've got base cabinets to go across here and then we'll have a uh, countertop on top of that and then we'll have tower cabinets that'll go up you know to the ceiling once all that's installed then we'll actually have another piece that will come over and cap this and then we'll again screw through the the, uh, the board into this cabinet and that will complete the wrap everything will wrap you know completely around at that point so uh, so that's going to look really good, and it's going to look smooth and seamless and uh, give it a really nice look here if we really finish this corner off so much better than uh, drywall. And uh, once we get the cabinets and everything up, we'll uh, be able to go ahead and finish and put the crown and everything up as well. So we're hoping to go ahead and get both panels up on both sides today and then go ahead. We've got some uh, like quarter-inch stain grade plywood here. That's going to go across this. And then our cabinets will get mounted on top of that. That'll provide a nice smooth surface uh, where you see the wall in between the two cabinets because that's going to get painted. So we wanted a nice smooth surface that we didn't, didn't take a lot of prep uh, to get done. So that, that'll actually get painted. Uh, then we can go ahead and install our base cabinets, get those on the wall. And this, this thing's going to come together pretty quickly. Can't wait to get all these big boxes and everything out of here and uh, finish up the last of the cleanup and organization in this space. So we're going to get started on this panel, get it glued up, and then uh, we'll catch back up with you guys shortly. All right, so we've moved our panel out to the front porch. Once we got everything marked on the wall where we wanted it, we got our clamps out here, and we've got uh, everything ready to go. So we're just going to put some newspaper down under the joints, make sure we don't uh, get any glue on the porch. That would not be good. Now we're going to use these space balls, little quarter-inch rubber balls made by rock and uh, they come hundred to a bag or you can buy a bag of like 500 or 1,000 or whatever uh, if you're making a lot of cabinets and stuff. These are nice because uh, they go down into your groove and then provide a snug fit for your panels so nothing rattles or you know moves around, settles, whatever, over time. You don't put any glue on your panels. You know, you just put glue on the uh, style and rail joints. That way, you know, they're nice and rigid. But the panel itself, you want to be able to, want it to move, uh, expand and contract, because it's going to, you know, have a different 
coefficient of expansion and contraction with your changes in humidity with the change in seasons. So these little rubber balls will take up the space in the joint and then allow that uh, expansion and contraction to happen without the panels really uh, moving or rattling or anything like that. Sound good, hon? Yep. All right, so Amber's brought supplies. We're gonna go ahead and get this thing blown apart, get glue on the joints, and uh, then we'll get her clamped up. We got Bessie over there, Erwin. <laughs> That's the name of the clamps. <laughs> what? I'm not saying a word. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna get this thing uh, knocked apart and glued up and uh, we'll catch back up with you guys in a minute. So we got it all blown apart now and we're ready to go ahead and start gluing up these joints. This is where those index marks really come in handy. Because once you got it taken apart, you have no idea where everything was before when you had it dry assembled. So those little index marks, once we get those lined up, we know that's where the two boards met before and uh, that'll keep us on track. Otherwise you could gain or lose ground as you're going you know, from top to bottom or bottom to top. Um, on these panels, we've got the bottom set so that it matches the floor when I had it stood in place. So uh, I'm gonna do the bottom first and then we'll work our way up to the top. The top actually gets covered by uh, crown molding. So if there's a little bit of discrepancy there at the top, it doesn't matter, which is nice. So we're gonna go ahead and put some glue on these joints and uh, start getting this thing knocked back together. Ready, hon? Yes. Had to get bundled up. Got a sweatshirt on. I've got house slippers on. I mean, I'm I'm ready to work. You're ready to rock? You need some electric socks or something? Or? I might. It looks it warm out, but it is a little warm, it's it is a little chilly this morning. Temperatures dropped down last night to like 34, so it's a little cold. It's supposed to get warm. Yeah, it's supposed to get in the 60s today, anyways. All right, let's get this glued up so we can get move on to something else. Okay. All right, so we got the panel glued back together, and we put the space balls in there. So that helped us center up our inner panels in the styles and rails. Went together pretty well. It's always stressful because this glue that I like to use sets up fairly quickly. And so the concern is if you take too long trying to get it, everything situated, then some of your joints are gonna start setting up before you even get to the other end of the big panel. So that's the only trouble with you know, working with big pieces like this. So if I had to do it all over again, I would probably get something that would uh, set up a little slower for work like this. But it's nice, you know, after an hour, you can take clamps off and you can't stress the joint, they say, for 24 hours, but um, it's set and, and rock solid by the time you take clamps off an hour later. So good thing is, once we uh, get the other panel sanded, we'll be able to go ahead and assemble the other one. Take the clamps off of this one and Repeat the process. Sound like fun, honey? Did you hear what she said? Yeah, Amber's super sure. excited. She's just bringing out the panels and- uh, Trying to get you back to work. <laughs> yeah, I know. Took a, quick, top, top, top. took a quick break after putting this one together, so she's like, back to work. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna get uh, set up over here, start sanding down. Yeah. Not gonna be too bad, but you can see where we, where we joined the panels. Sand the glue off and uh, get everything nice and smooth, ready to go together. If I had that to do all over again, I would uh, would have sanded them before I put them through the router. Live and learn. That way I didn't have to be as careful around the, I know. Well. the, uh, the detail there. But I got the rest of them done without taking off the uh, raised panels. Yeah, so I think this, I... is, this is our first go at this, so. Mm -hmm. It's gonna turn out beautiful though. I can't it's wait to see it all together. All right, you better get to sanding. Yeah, I've okay. got things to do. Okay, all right, I'll take <laughs> care of it. <laughs> so I just finished sanding this panel and it looks fantastic. We start out with something really coarse. Got uh, some 40 grit. That's what I like to use first. And then I go to, uh, let's see, that's 60. Then I go to uh, 80 grit. And then we finally, finally finish up with uh, the 180 grit gives it a super smooth finish, ready for paint. And then I use a uh, sanding sponge to get the detail by hand. Just work all the way down along this contours and then make sure the edge is nice and smooth. That way it slides into the styles and rails without any resistance. 
So this one's done. Got one more to do. And then we'll be ready to uh, dry fit our next panel. This one's drying nicely in the sun. Once we pop the clamps off, I'll uh, go ahead and take the sander to it and make sure the styles and rails are nice and smooth where they come together. And give the styles and rails one more sanding before we put them up. Once we get them all up and uh, installed, we'll probably go along all the surfaces again with sanding sponges just to make sure everything's nice and smooth. And then we'll prime it, look for any problem spots that we might need to fill or level or something. And then uh, once that's done, we'll give it one more sanding and it'll be ready for a couple coats of oil base finished paint. So we got the raised panel up on the saw horses now. We went ahead and popped the clamps off. It was good and set up. And now I'm using the random orbit sander to smooth out all the joints. Make sure everything looks perfectly uniform. So to take them down quickly, I'm just using that 40 grit. And it just makes short work of any sort of elevation difference between the style and the rail. Knocks it down very quickly. And now I'll come back along with the 80 grit. I'll do the 80 along the whole length of the styles and rails. And then we'll do the 180 along the whole length of the styles and rails. And once that's done, this panel's ready to go in the house and we'll set it back in place. And we'll go ahead and bring everything else uh, together for the other panels. Get them dry fit, just like we did this one. Stand it up in place, made it up with the the big panel that's already up there and then make our witness marks on the styles and rails again just like we did once everything's set we'll bring it out here and glue it together just the same so i'm gonna keep plugging away on the sanding here and we'll get this one inside and then repeat the process all right so we're doing things a little differently this time hopefully it won't be a catastrophic failure uh, but it was kind of a pain to take it all apart and glue everything and put it all back together laying on the ground. So we decided to put it up on the saw horses and then glue all of the rails at once and take one style off and then take the other style off, put it on. So we'll, we'll see, see how it goes. What do you think? Yeah. Predictions? We might get it right by the, you know, the last panel. Yeah, this is the last panel, <laughs> right? right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we're going to give this a try. We already got the glue spread out there. I'm going to go ahead and uh, spread it around the end of the tin in there a little bit and then we'll uh, wipe off any excess and put it together. So what do you think? Is that a little easier? Much easier. I'm glad we figured it out on the fourth one and last one instead of the first one. <laughs> well, you know, trial and error as they say. The first two weren't too bad because they were the smaller ones. Right. They were like 12 a little, inches wide or whatever. A little easier to manage but yeah blowing it all mm -hmm. apart and then Putting it all back together under stress of glue drying. <laughs> this was much easier. It was not fun. No. Well, this one, when we had our our witness marks ready to go, and uh, we were able to just put it all back together. I just knocked the styles off, and then, uh, hey, Reed. Knocked the styles <laughs> off, glue them up, and put them back together. So that turned out great. And the best part, it's here and ready to be sanded as That's soon right. as it dries. Yeah, so we'll have to move it. Clamps will sit for about an hour, and then we'll uh, take those off. Go ahead and get everything sanded down and carry it in one more time to get it fitted. But in the meantime, I think we should uh, go ahead and get the other one mounted. What do you think? Sounds good. Actually, we've got a cutout for the electric box. Ooh, That's yeah. stressful. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we got that to look forward to. Wonderful. Yay. All right, cool. Good job, hon. All right, so we got the uh, panel back in place, as you can see, and I just did something crazy. Cut a hole in our brand new panel for that switch box. Whew. I marked and remarked and double checked and checked again and finally uh, got it marked as good as I could. And I used our uh, DeWalt oscillating cutter with a wood blade on it to go through there. But I tell you, that caused a little bit of uh, nervousness <laughs> cutting through a brand new panel huh. but that's gonna look good though once we put the switch plate on there it should fall right at the edge of our raised panel detail so that'll look really nice so right now i'm getting ready to attach the two panels together here at the corner 
And rather than just use nails, I'm gonna use these GRK two inch trim head screws. And I am going to pre-drill because I do not want to take a chance on splitting anything. So I'm gonna pre-drill and uh, the drill bit I'm using, it's just a little bit, uh, it's about the same size as the shaft of the screw, smaller than the head. So we'll still get plenty of grip, but I just do not want to take a chance on splitting anything at this point. No way, no how. So I'm gonna go ahead and pre-drill some holes up through here, and then we'll go ahead and get these things Zip together at the corner. And I think it'll be time to go back outside, pop the clamps off the other one, and uh, get it all sanded down and ready to bring in here and get up on the other side. What do you think, hon? <sighs> Loving it? Yeah. Looks amazing, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. All right, so let's get some screws in it. All right, so we got this panel all secured to the main panel. It looks dynamite. We used our little trim head screws, and uh, as you can see, I did a uh, little countersink there, basically. Pre-drilled everything. That way we wouldn't have any splittage. Got it in there nice and tight. We'll uh, come along and sand these panels together before we paint everything. And then I just put one screw in there just to kind of hold everything. Because we're going to have to do everything on the back side of this and then we'll come along and cap this with another piece of poplar between our cabinets and the corner so i'm just going to leave that loose for now because i may have to finagle that corner just a little bit to get everything to line up perfectly what do you think hon beautiful you love it mm -hmm. me too good job measuring for that uh, switch yeah thank goodness right <laughs> yeah. i screwed that up it had been uh Bad news indeed. <laughs> yeah, that looks great. Everything uh, matches up nicely. The panels all line up. Mm -hmm. It's going to be really, really pretty once we get it all painted out. It's going to be kind of sad to paint over it, actually. I know. The big question is what color? Yeah, we've gone back and forth a lot. Yes. We've talked about doing like a navy, something, you know, similar to our kitchen island, maybe. Yes, we have the cream. Cream's pretty. That's the trim color. Yep. Here's the island color, which I love, but I'm worried all that blue would suck up the light back here in this room. It is very dark, but it would be beautiful. I'd be gorgeous. And we then, also talked about like a colonial blue, uh, yeah. George Wythe, <coughs> uh, colonial blue. <coughs> Something maybe, maybe like, whoops. Or like a slate. Yeah, just a lighter blue. I don't know. Even this uh, kind of lighter yeah, blue in the rug. Blue gray in the rug. Yep. That's a very uh, you know, colonial looking color. Yes, yeah. Who know. is it that makes the uh, Sherwin Williams? That makes a, the Williamsburg collection? That was, they may, but we found it on Benjamin Moore's. Oh, that was Benjamin Moore's, yeah. Website yesterday. Yeah. So they've got a whole colonial Williamsburg collection, and uh, we love Williamsburg, so it'd be, be very suitable, I think, to. Uh, painted something from Williamsburg. Was it George White's house blue that we liked? Yeah, that was or with. one of them. It was with blue, I think. With, White. I don't know. We'll have to ask George one of these days how he prefers to pronounce his name. But we'll uh, anyways, all right. So we'll go out and get the other side sanded down and carry it back in here and do the same thing over again, right? Yep. Cool. So what are you doing, Chris? <laughs> so, uh, when you have to line these panels up, sometimes just a, a little bow in the wood sometimes will cause it to dive in mm -hmm. behind the piece you're screwing through. And you can't get your fingers up here, right. you know, to pull it out. So an old trick is to run a screw into it and then take your hammer, claw hammer. Pull get, it out. Get behind that, get on that screw and kind of pull it out just a little bit. And then hold that while you run your screw in. Okay. Job. Keeps yeah. you nice and flush. And it's one more screw hole that you got to fill. We had to get yeah. down here too, but you know, no big deal. Just a little no. wood putty. Sand that Sanding. off, a little wood putty, 
and uh, be good to go. The last one, we won't have to do that. We'll just have to push it in a little bit. Okay. While we do that, we'll Sounds do good. that one. Do you need me to push on the other side? Mm-mm. Okay. Good shirt. You may think pre-drilling for a, a trim screw is a little silly, but we've split this many boards. Yes, we have done <laughs> so good. I would rather uh, take the extra step. Well, I mean, drill some holes versus we, go all this way and all this time, and then bust something. Well, lumber is so expensive right now that I would hate to have to, to go buy that. more and then to start over. And uh, it'd be awful. It'd be sickening. Group. Here we go. What do you think? Look good? I think it looks good. So we'll hit it with the uh, sander mm -hmm. on this side here. Smooth that out. And uh, it'll be ready for paint. So we've got three sides finished. Mm -hmm. And now <laughs> we've got the fourth side left to do. Yay. So we have office cabinetry going here. We've got lowers and then we've got uppers that sit on the countertop and go all the way and have a balance with lighting in it. So should be easy. Yeah. Start on that tomorrow though, right? Yeah, I think we're about done for the evening. It uh gonna be about dinner time and we've gotten yeah. a lot done today. So we have we need to kick back and relax a little bit this evening warmed up nicely out there, so maybe Hit the porch. And Sounds good. Chill. All right. Sounds That's good. a wrap. <laughs>